These Karens and Karens are looking for that little thing in reality that will wake them up and make them realize how much of an idiot they are. Ultimately, they will never find it. Welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. Let's get into the clips. Here we have a Kevin following a guy walking his dog down the road for apparently having his dog walk into the grassy area right next to the footpath. I don't understand why you're following me. I really don't. You're following me. You're following me, and this is why people call the cops on people. Stop, call, stop following me. Stop following me. Is this your sidewalk? Is this your sidewalk? Is this your sidewalk? Oh, they're past it now, right? So everything's over. Please leave me alone. Yes. Now you want to act like you're the now, victim. Now, now, like you're now the it's victim, over, like right? Did you drive around and follow me, or did I, I come to you? Who you cursed at you? Who cursed at you? You said you're gonna f***ing watch me. Now you. I said now you're gonna f watch me. Yeah. Victim. Now you're gonna f watch you're me. Gonna you're you're doing that right now, you. aren't you? You don't you're being ridiculous. You, know you, do, you, you are being else. ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. No, you're ridiculous. You don't own the sidewalk. 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 I'm sorry. No. This okay. right here is mine because Bye. I built it. Goodbye, sir. I built it. Goodbye, I sir. It is this your house? Is this your house? No, now you want to go. Where's my house? You know Your house, house is back is. there now, right? You know exactly your house, house is back is. there now, right? Now you your house exactly is back there, yes? Is. Your house is back there, yes? And by past your house? Bye. Goodbye. Good fing bye. Maldita su. Do you ever see their problem with these dogs? I walk by once, once every two weeks or something. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. He does not know that. You see, this is somebody who picks up after their dogs. I don't matter. leave. I don't leave shit anywhere. So you're full of it. You're full of it. He drove off and drove back to start a fight with me. That was it. I know. I know. But just listen. Listen. I'm listening. I know you're upset. All we're trying to say. He, he's, he's following me. He is following me. Do you realize that? He's saying. following me. He's following me. How is that okay? Listen, he's following me. How is that okay? It's not, I'm just saying it's not okay, but understand. Just try to understand what I'm saying. No, I want you to understand that he drove away like said, and drove back just to f***ing yell at me for what? For spending 15 seconds in front of his house while my dogs walk past? This is a public sidewalk, and he should really no, leave me alone. This is not public. This is a public sidewalk, and he should leave me alone. There you go. There you go. And if, and if he had given it 15 seconds, I'd have been past his house in 15 seconds. But no, instead he wants to turn it, instead he wants to circles. drive all the way back around, roll down his window, grill at me through his you glasses, you the and then say some nonsense, for what? And then just stand there and stare at me and go, I told you to move, like, I'm sorry, this is a public sidewalk. It doesn't matter what the f*** you say, because I'm not going to move if I don't have to. It's a public sidewalk and I will stay on the public sidewalk. It's not a sidewalk, this is not public, this is mine. What are they standing on? What are they standing on? What are they standing on? Like I said, you're the victim. Yeah. You're the victim. You come up who here chased who? Who chased who? How much? How much further down are we from your house? How much further down are we from your house that you're still here? How much further down are we from your house that you're still following me? You are being ridiculous. You're a grown right. man. You got to get to work. So do I. Why don't you back the so off and let me go? Don't tell me where to go. This is a public goddamn sidewalk. You can't control the sidewalk this is mine that's not yours that's his i'm pretty sure that's his that's not yours either no over there you know where you were you know exactly where you were how long ago how long ago so is it over or is it not over am i past your house am i past your house or am i not past your house so is it over am i past your house or am i not past your house this clip really requires you to go down to the weeds of a lot of American law, and this can vary very heavily depending on what city you live in, depending on your own HOA's rulings, and various other shenanigans along those lines. So in some places, from your mailbox to the road is technically the city's property. You technically maintain it, but it's the city's property. Some places, it's only the footpath itself. The nature strip between the road and the footpath, and then the grass beyond to the house property itself is technically still private property and the footpath is just an easement from the city in order to have a public pathway there and so on and so forth it literally will change depending on which city you are depending on which hoa you're in and so many other nonsensical and shenanigans that technically speaking both people in this clip are right Except for the fact that I personally wouldn't follow someone down the footpath because their dog slightly walked into my property, maybe took a piss. If the dog took a shit and the person who was walking the dog didn't pick up after them, then I would have, have I'd be having problems like this guy here. But beyond that, it doesn't matter. 
Dog's gonna piss where dog gonna piss. There's no way to really stop them. They just like doing that. They find a place that's got the smell of another dog. They're going to whip up their leg and piss a little to mark their territory. It's what they do. There's nothing you can really do to stop that. Ultimately, the guy following the guy on the footpath here was just a bit of an ass. So these guys were doing some work inside of a gated community, and one of the Karens who, one of the entitled Karens, I should say, who lived there decided to stop by, see like, oh, these people don't look like the typical people that live inside of a gated community. I'm going to go annoy them about being in a gated community. Karen. Look, she's getting your legs. She's getting your plates. This lady harassed and called me a wetback. This is a Karen. You are in a gated community swearing out people. No, you called me a wetback and you called me poor. No, not. Yeah, you did. You, you said you had liar. you said you had millions. You I have crazy. witnesses, ma'am. I have witnesses. Yeah, because you're lying. Look at this. I know. Just tell her, you're just passing. This is, this is uh, private property. Yeah. Private property. Yeah. You're getting your license plate. Hey, that's my truck. That's not his truck. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't be coming back to my truck. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I took so a picture. Go on your way. Go I on your way. I took a picture of your truck. It's private property. Go on your way. In my community. So we work here. You swore me out. You swore me out. You called me names. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I did call you a Karen. You own this community? The whole thing? Well, the guy You own it? Taken. You own it? Show me a paper that you own it? Okay, don't be taking pictures of my plate. I can take don't be doing that. Don't so why are you crying if I'm getting your license plate then? Okay, I don't care. You were crying about it, Karen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your little luxury you have. Yeah. Hey, don't step on this property. Oh, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous of you at all. The way you act, I would never act like that. And I would never be some I would never be jealous of someone like you. To say racial slur to me. Oh, you have all this money but you're scared to tell the truth, huh? You have millions but you're scared to tell the truth? That's how scared you are, huh? You said I have millions and you're a poor webback. Only a few words for this. This is just a rich entitled D-bag who just looks at other people who don't fit their status of wealth and privilege and they're going to look down upon you and then insult you for being in there and go off at you for being inside of their gated community. They're never going to actually figure out why you're there in the first place or even ask that question. Heck, they couldn't even mind their own business. Like, genuinely speaking, most gated communities do have security at the gates to let people in. Granted, I also understand it well and truly that a lot of the times the security are very lax and don't give a damn to most degrees, but ultimately speaking, if they've got multiple vehicles through the gated community, into the gated community, clearly they've got a reason to be there in the first place, and as this guy said, they're here working. Oh my god, who would have known? Job's gonna be done on a construction site, things are gonna be done on a house, fixed or cleaned up or whatever in the world they're currently doing. Like, mind your own business. Unless these people are walking around with guns or something, I don't think it's something to be too concerned about. Like, just keep tabs, keep notes, maybe take some photos and then move on with your day, and then query your neighbor later if you know these people. Otherwise, just leave them alone. So this guy's kids are playing around the street, riding around in their go-karts, and one of the neighbors wasn't too happy with that, so they decided to take their cars and start reversing them off their driveway and dumping them and leaving them in the middle of the streets. When she gets confronted by the father here, she decides to lose it, and then her white knight of a husband decides to get involved and defend her. Good, keep riding, guys. Keep riding, guys. This lady's literally moving her stuff so my kids can't play in the street. She's moving her cars. This lady's moving her cars in the street so my kids can't play. She's moving her cars in the street so my kids can't play. Ain't this something? Go ahead, guys. Keep riding. Keep riding. You good? Keep riding. You good? What are you doing? This lady's trying to run over me now. You see this? You see this? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where is she going? Where is she going? 
problem. You have a problem. You have a problem. You have a problem. This is crazy. Hey, hey. I'll park it there, Marty. Get out of the road. Hey. You're a crazy person. You're in the You're crazy. The road. No, you're parking you're your cars in the, in the street. Look at this. I'm taking my kids are playing in the street. I'm moving. No, I'm no you're not. No, you're not. You're being a. That's fine. You're. You're, you're attacking a nasty me. Mouth. No, you're. You a you just hit me in the face. You. You just. I did you not touch you. Face and no, I didn't. I did not. Hey, it's on no, your I tape. Did not. You it called is. her I before just, she said anything. No, you, you hit you me did. in the face. You, you, you called her. You're, a a you're approaching you me in the street in your no, car. You called her. You're right still in the street. You you're still approaching me in the street. Aggressively. Aggressively, right? You approached her aggressively. No, I did not. Yes, you no, did. I did not. It's she pulled her cars out on me. It's on your tape. Get out of my face, man. Get the out of my face, man. Get out of my face, man. No. My kids are playing in the street. Alone. I'm not doing anything to your you wife. You approached my no, wife, she got came into out, her face. She came out here. You got into my fight. You need to face. come and get your people. You need to come and get your people. Your your mom just hit me in the face. You got in her face no. and called her a no. bitch and you no. got this far no. to her. No, man. No, that's you not the truth. You come down here to that's cause trouble. That's not the truth. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You still approached me. Get the out of my face. To get away from my wife. Get the out of my face, man. Get the get fuck out of my, my face! I'm family. not. A, I'm not doing anything to then you. Then get away from my I'm not, wife. I'm not. I'm not approaching you. You're the you. one who said. I'm and nobody called you. Nobody I'm called not approaching you, man. Nobody called you. you. Nobody I'm not called you a name. You're and, a you and, and your mom and your wife said you. There you yeah. go. There you go. There you go. So you think you can come here? you go. No, because she approached me in the street. You approached me in the street in your cars. That's fine. You're not going anywhere. She is going you're not, somewhere. You're going Get to jail. From my you're wife. going to jail in a minute. Yeah, because you're instigating. No, me. I'm not. No, I'm not. Did we call you anything? No, I'm not. Did no, we I'm call not. you anything? No, I'm not. You're going to jail. Look, personally speaking, if I start, if one of my neighbors started doing this, I would just take a photo, call up the cops briefly saying, hey, by the way, uh, my neighbors are illegally parking their cars in the middle of the street, no hazards lines, and they're leaving them there in the middle of the road, blocking the road. And then I would go out and do what you did here. Maybe you did do that. And now you're this recording with her just attempting to swat the phone out of your hands, what I'm assuming happened because the clip does get cut in that little area of someone trying to hit each other. But it's just like one of those things where it's like clearly it's like, oh, she's just moving cars out of the way to get to one car she wants to use specifically. Okay, cool. Then she can park the vehicles up on the gutter like a normal person, not just in the middle of the damn streets. Like it's very clear and very obvious that she's purposely doing this to annoy the other person. Person. It is very clear this is very, very purposeful, especially considering that they're going in such weird directions to park a car. Like, what? <laughs> and don't get me started on the husband that doesn't attempt to uh, de escalate the situation before getting involved. He just immediately starts going after the guy who, uh, going after the guy currently recording. Like, I get it, you want to defend your wife, but at the same time, you should probably figure out what's happening first and then attempt to de-escalate the entire situation rather than joining in on your wife being a complete and utter asshole. Like, it's a very simple thing. Granted, you're her husband, of course you're going to be like that. So here we have a Karen who's parked completely horribly. Not only is she way over the line, she's also on a massive angle. And when she realizes she can't get out of her car easily, instead of uh, fixing up her parking herself, she decides to go off at the driver who owns the car that she's parked next to. But <laughs> I can't go to my car. My daughter has to get in. We won't move his car. I my daughter has to get in. Move it. You parked it too f***ing close. You, you... Yeah, you, 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 you heard do you, me. Do you, when you open that door, you she hit do my this own a lot? car. Is she okay? No, she's fine. The car is parked too close to her car. Do you see your tire? You Let's get serious. Let's get serious. You see the line that do separates you see your these? Tire. Look, now come over here. Tire. Come over here. Come on. This is just for fun. This is just for fun. No, come here. Look. Just for fun. Look. And then look at this. Look, your tire is right on that white You're. You need to stay within the lines. So do you. So do you. But look. Look, I'm perfectly between the lines. Look, oh, I'm actually hugging this side a little too much. I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture. Yeah. Pero estás loca. F you. Oh. F you. En español, por favor. Don't call women crazy. You? You're crazy. Look at you. You fucking old. Oh, Driving a 
in a car like that. You're not happy, man. I'm, You're an old fart. I am. You're too old to be driving a car like that. It's too I'm, big for you. I'm in disbelief. Pecker. Yeah, I bet you are. I, <laughs> look and you drive is, like it. This is you drive original. like it, you little tiny pecker. This is So you original. need that. That's your. That is your. Isn't it? Uh, you proud of your old. But it's your car, that you? Yeah, can't get it up. Viagra, my. You stupid. Now you're getting off fighting with a woman? No, I'm, I'm not you're fighting. You're getting off fighting with a woman, you I'm, little picker? I'm not fighting son at all. Go on, man, because I'll take you down, you son of a bitch, any time. That's, that's God, threatening, but it's pick. not. It's, I'm just... Yeah. Park that correctly. I'm just being Park entertained, frankly. I'm in disbelief. I really hope they did send the photos of the jeep being parked perfectly in between the lines of the police and that the police just laughed in their face their stupidity. It's like that jeep is right on the both lines because the vehicle's slightly too wide for the car park itself. But he's perfectly in between those lines. Like, there's nothing better he can really do. Maybe he could go a little more to the left because he's a little more on the right than what he should be. But at the end of the day, he's between the lines pretty nicely. You, on the other hand, not only are you way over the line on one side with this massive gap on the other side, you're also at one heck of a damn angle. You couldn't even park straight, let alone get between the lines. I think we need to give you some coloring books because maybe then, maybe then you'll learn how to color and park in between the lines. Or maybe not. Maybe you'll just never learn on how to be inside the lines itself. You'll just be this weird person who has to go on this massive angle and fail every time. And whenever you do fail, blame it on the other person instead of accepting responsibility for your own bad driving. So this guy's order got slightly stuffed up by the fast food workers here, and he decided to be a bit of a Kevin about it, because not only does he want them to fix the order itself, he also wants a refund on said order, and decides to be a bit more of an impatient asshole about it. I can either do your order or give you the refund. Wow. I can do both. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You have a manager, right? Where's your manager? Maria. Can I have her contact me? You can call the store. Yeah, you can call the store. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to need you to write down your store number for me. Yeah, it's on the receipt. Now I need you to write it down. I'm going to need you to write down your receipt. Okay. It's on the receipt. Go ahead. Once, I give, you, once, I, give, no, once I give you the receipt, I'll mark it where it's the store mark. Okay. Hurry up. I'm doing it. Don't go. Don't. What? Don't. Don't. Just what? I'm doing it. All right? You're taking forever. The more you talk, the more you're taking. I'm here. So hurry up. Hey, bro, you're going to talk to them like that, bro. No, you f***ed my order, bro. And so, nah, I'm cool. Nah, just because they up your order, you're gonna talk to somebody like that? Exactly. So I know. Can, yeah, I know you need your. I know you need exactly, your food. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And your point is, you don't gonna yeah. talk to somebody like that. But I am. You have no respect. So what are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. A TikTok, a TikTok, yeah. Yeah. Continue. Go ahead. Yeah. So the top. Continue. What is with people like this? It's just like, oh, you got my order slightly wrong. Well, I want a refund. I also want you to fix my order. I want to have my cake and eat it too. But you only get one of the two. They don't do both. You either get a refund for the stuff up or you get them to fix the stuff up and try again. You can't just do both of them because if you're getting a refund, why the hell would they spend waste more food items to create a new item for you when you've already got a refund for the stuff up from before? It just seems stupid. Maybe you should take a moment to think about that before you try and ask these type of things and logically think out. It's like, okay, I want a refund and I also want my food to be fixed. That works, right? No, of course not. You either get your food fixed or you get your refund. You don't do both of them. That's not how that works. Here we have a Karen who goes on a full homophobic rant after coming across a person who she believes to be gay. Or maybe he actually is gay and that's just well known in the neighborhood. Either way, here's a clip. I'm sorry about this. Don't say sorry, you disrespected me first. I'm not saying sorry to you. Bust your motherfucking windows, bitch. The fuck you, who the fuck you calling? 
a mother You got me f***ed up. F***ing faggots, like I said. Girl, is that what I be on your I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna go to a different place. I'm sorry. I said I'm just gonna go to a different store. I'm sorry. But I appreciate you guys. I know you guys are always really great, so thank you so much. For fuck's sakes, what, why? Why? This guy's literally done nothing to you. Why do you need to go on this entire verbal rant about how they're bad people and how, oh my god, because they're gay, they should do this and they should do that and blah blah, like, who cares? Like, okay, genuinely speaking, these people aren't doing any harm to you at all. And you have to go out of your way to just be a complete and utter ass hat towards these people for ultimately no reason aside from your complete and utter asshole. It really is that simple. Like, if you're human and have empathy, you should understand that being like this is just completely stupid and not necessary. Like, uh, I hate people like this. It is just a genuine, like... Guess someone gets some tape and just tape her mouth closed. D d do a world a whole lot of good. She's probably like this to other people as well. Just just tape her mouth closed and she won't need to speak out of a trap ever again. In this first clip, we've got a Kevin who's completely losing his mind on the phone to the 911. Now Karen needs police no! immediately. F you! F you! Who the f do you think you are? Who 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 the f? Hey, 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 you! I need cops here right now! Give me a cop! Give me f***ing cops tonight, Hennessy! Please, right now! I'm not touching him. So we're having a good day? Dana Point! Oh my god, this guy just gave me a present little Friday, man. So we're having a great day. I'm done now. Just please give me a Hey, just give me a cop. Lord, I am no, no, no. Please give me a copy. Please give me a copy. Where's my card? You threw give it me, out of your hand. Give me my card. You grab it. I'm not touching. Yo! <laughs> grab it. Grab your card. What, man? Grab your card. You just the, you're I'm weirdo. Now, you're the one who you're grabbed the chicks out. Weirdo. Bro. You grabbed the chicks out of him. So whose ass did I grab? The server. Who's that? Bring her out here, man. Up the car. Follow up for the car. more dramatics. So what I can gather from the back end of that conversation is he apparently touched someone inappropriately, the server of the party that's supposedly going as we can hear by the music in the background. What an ass hat. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's in an argument with another pair of people over something that I'm assuming is to do with a conspiracy of sorts. No, it's no, no, no. You, you want to do them. We'll just go whatever. yell at people. I don't care. Right. We'll just go yell at people. I know you Why don't you care because die? you're literally making I don't care. Oh. You're a millennial. Just die. Huh? Just die. Well, you'll die before me. Um, That's the good news. No, no, you will. Yeah. And your brain's going to after me. Because you're a me. neuropsychologist who knows nothing about fucking neuroscience. But guess what? Guess what? And Did you're going to go around preaching misinformation. Guess what? I'm older than you, so I've had a longer life. Huh? You're, you're going to have a shorter That's how that works. Life. And that's sad. Because we weren't exposed to this. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's effectively snitching on an eight-year-old child for selling water without a permit. <laughs> Men don't want to let a little girl sell some water. She calling police on an eight-year-old little girl. You can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit? Yeah. On my property. It's not your property. I mean, I guess it's technically could be classed as illegal, but who the hell cares? An eight-year-old selling water for like, what, a dime? Like, come on. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Kevin who's highly offended from the words on a shirt. You work here? You're a supervisor outside here? I'm, I'm not offending you. You're offending everyone out here. Bullshit! You're saying fuck! This is my, my right. My children don't know that word. This is my right. My this children my don't right. know that it's word. It's called freedom of They're speech. five and six really? years old. I find that hard to believe. My you children are five and six years old. You got a supervisor outside here? 
My parent, my my in-laws okay. own it. My wife's in charge. Okay. Go in there and talk to her. Good. And go wear that shirt in there. Absolutely. Go. Where? Show me. Go. Your, show me right now. My children are five and six years old. Are your children here? Do you think that are I want them to see that shirt? Are your children here? Do you think that are I want them to see that shirt? Here, sir. That shirt I'm is offensive. That's a bad word. Mild, oh, bad You're saying word. bad words in front of children. Is your children here? Are your children here? Please, let's go talk to your You're wife. People. Let's go talk to your wife right now. You got the boss? Does it make you feel like a big man? Go ahead. Keep on walking. I'm not here for the politics. But my personal opinion, why do you have to be so offended over a shirt that just says fuck Trump? Like, who cares? Move on with your life. In this next clip, we have a Karen whose order was done wrong, so instead of just politely asking for it to be corrected, has lost her nutter over it. I you, you look fucking loud. You're being rude right now. Yeah, because they still don't fucking understand to go. They don't. I would have been gone, but she said to go, and he didn't get the order. Okay, right. you're stealing stuff everywhere now. You know what? I'm about to spill it on you. Babe. Do it. And see Excuse what the fuck you. Happens. Do it. And see Please. what the fuck happens. No, I'm sorry. You announced it to everybody. You don't need to insult people. You were the one who decided, your friend decided to leave in. You remember that? Oh, yeah, I do because she was standing up for people because he didn't do anything wrong. Because he didn't fucking do the job. Okay, you know what? Listen, I will pay for your food for you to get the fuck out. out. Hey, Karen, you're fucking loud. You're being rude. Please, 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 please. You don't need to talk to her like that either. Should I call the police? Like, I think... That would be helpful. I think it's so fucking difficult to put the liquid into the container and they're fucking Maybe you should get a hamburger next time. Hey, you should leave. Thank you. Bye. Of course, it isn't a Karen archetype without the racism. Oh my god. In this next clip, we've got an anti-masker who claims to be a nurse harassing a pair of people in a store. So you're on a fool's errand. You're on a fool's errand. You're on a fool's errand. I know, but you're on a fool's errand. How is this helping you? It's not helping you at all. You're just... So the, it goes in around the mask and in your and into your mouth. And when it goes in, see, look, look, watch me blowing you. You just breathed it in. What an idiot! You're a fool, there. So it doesn't help her at all. And she believes all this bullshit that the government teaches her. Yes, she's believing all the bullshit that the government teaches her. When I was younger, we questioned the government, but she believes all the bullshit. Stop harassing her? Like, you don't have anything better to do? No, I don't have anything better to do. Turn yours on, too. Don't talk to yourself. Turn yours on, too. I don't need to. I want to talk to yours, too, see? Why do you think? Yeah, you do. You obviously do because you're talking to strangers about nothing you know about. Mind your fucking business. I'm a nurse. Not a good one. Nothing. You're masked. Gotta love that sly comment at the end. Not a good one, my god. <laughs> In this next clip, we've got a Walmart manager who's racially profiling someone as stealing without even bothering to go further into it. Get off! Get off of my property! It's not your get, property. It's Walmart property. You cannot. No, he's three. Yeah, get off. This is my property. Get off of me! I know. Get off of my property. I'm not on your property. That's this is my property. property. The cart is not your property. Get off of my shit. Yeah. Hey, no. I know. I want to see your receipt. Yeah. No, get off of me. I want to see your receipt. Get off of me. I don't have to show you shit. You, you accusing me of stealing? I'm, I'm, you're ask, I'm asking for your receipt. No one's accusing I, you of anything. Then I don't have to prove. If you're not accusing me of stealing, then you can't. Yeah, yes, I can. You can't hold me here. I can see your receipt. You do, you can ask for my receipt. No, sir, I don't have. You're right. Do you, I don't have to hold you here. No, no, I don't have to. That's that's you're the right. problem. You're right. I don't have to hold you here, but I no. can keep the pro the merchandise. You're you're. Show me the receipt. Huh? 
I it does yeah, he can ask but he can't hold me here. Okay, look, here's my receipt. Thank you. That's all I want to say. And I'm gonna sue the shit out of you. you do I'm gonna that. sue the shit out of him, so it's all you good. You do that. You talk to congressman. They, I didn't call sign a contract. Okay. Call so your get lawyer, off my congressman. Ass. Get off. Now, as an Australian, this one's a little bit more peculiar to me because here with tech stores, whenever you buy any form of electronics, you usually have to go buy a security guard who will stamp your receipt to say, hey, you did buy this and you have walked out of the store with said item. Now, that's not a norm at supermarkets here, but we also don't have too much tech related items at a supermarket. And even when we do, it gets stolen a lot. And now furthermore on that, I don't get the whole thing of I don't want to show you my receipt even though that could probably solve this solution easier. Is it just socially different there? Like that's not a social norm where she's like, hey, here's my receipt. Here's the proof I brought this. Okay, cool. Bye bye. Like, I don't know. But one thing that's definitely clear at least is this manager seems to uh, racially profiled people for stealing because of their color. So, not cool. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who thinks she's king of the campsite. <laughs> In this next clip, we have a Karen who decides to cut in line because she wanted to go first because apparently having a child, only to fall asleep in the line a little bit later. We're at Krispy Kreme's and this mom, she's a mom. Oh, look at her, look at her, we got a Karen. So this woman cut off all these people. She's back there now. <laughs> Look at the line, look at the line of the cars. You have a child in your car! Why are you acting like that? What's going on? No, no. She told us that there's a kid in the car. Is she asleep? Yeah, she cut the whole line and then we like we were and then she like freaked out and then Wait, she cut the line? Yeah. She so cut the line, the so we kinda like so said like that's rude line. that you cut the line. She's yeah, like, she I have a kid in the car, don't be like that. I tried, I tried She's snoring? That's drugs, fool. Yeah, That's that scary. Part. And if there's That's a scary. kid in that car... Yeah, no kid, I check. So she, she, that was her only she excuse. <laughs> That's a wild... Hey. <laughs> she was like, it. I have a kid in the car. Don't be like that. And then flipped us off. Yeah. Oh, well. like, the police just showed up. The police just showed up. Should I go back one? Was, was she okay? Um, yeah. She was just high. Really high. <laughs> she like smoked. Or like some other drug? Other, other. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she was doing hard. She must have had the munchies. <laughs> In this next clip, we have a Kevin who tries to pick a fight with a stranger all because he lost all of his money gambling. <laughs> Go do a smart blow, bro. Cash out and smile. Let's go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey
You have no fucking idea what you're watching. You have no idea. You lose your kid's college fund or something? What's that? You lose your kid's college fund or something, man? That's not my kid's college fund. You have no idea. You started shit with strangers. Get the fuck no, he out of started here. it with me. Get the fuck out. You want to bring it? Bring it. Let's go. Bring no it. No one's bringing nothing. Then why are you talking to me? Because you got a problem with people that. So I've got a problem with you fucking interrupting no. and let's, shit. You don't know what the go. fuck you're talking about. Sounds like let go. We're let our go. Line let go. Let's What's go. that? You're making our line take longer. I'm going out of your line, dude. Uh, whatever. Where the fucking hell you fucking dork ass motherfucker? There you go. Bring it. Bring it. Just swing. Bring it. Swing. Yeah. Swing. You probably swing. got four lawyers, swing. bro. Right. More than four. Swing it. More Just than swing. four. Oh, swing. Just swing. You're in a fucking line talking shit. Yeah, so are you. Take your $20 ticket up there, dude. There you go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. In this next clip, we have the aftermath of the winning team celebrating a little bit too hard in the Caribbean upset for it. Manager, I'm going to call the superintendent. That's all. I have never seen kids with such lack of manners and rudeness in my entire life, ever. So make sure you're filming record. for safety, okay. just in case. Sure, and so I know that there's both sure sides of the story. Because your principal was here. And this was disgusting. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't say anything. I don't know why you're mad at me. I'm not saying anything about anyone. And all you had to do was enjoy that. Not insult the players, not insult the parents. Just enjoy the win. This is disgusting. And and your superintendent is going to be notified. And whether they don't do anything, they don't do anything. Sounds good. You know what? You know what?